hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity and today we are making this beautiful halter top and this is how the back looks it has a button at the back here and a button at my neck and this is the closer view please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up comment and also remember to turn on your notification bell let's get started with the tutorial i am using acrylic yarn these are remains of yarn i've used so i use different shades of brown this is a 3.5 mm hook this is what we'll use for crocheting you'll need a pair of scissors um, tape measure stitch markers and a darning needle this is all you need and so to begin we'll do a slip knot and please make sure you have your underbust measurements minus four inches my underbust measurement is 26 inches minus four inches meaning i'm chaining up to 22 inches okay that is your foundation chain I am done with my chains and I, I did 90 chains so when you stretch your work it should reach to your underbust measurements minus 4 inches and for me is 22 inches and immediately we are starting to work with our pattern which is um half double crochets sorry double crochets so chain three more chains skip the three chains and we are doing double crochets across all the chains that we did and i'll meet you at the end of this first row of double crochets I am done with row one of double crochets and this is how my work looks to begin row two you will chain two turn your work and we are working on half sorry we are working with double crochets and i decided to change my yarn to this shade of brown so i'm just reattaching my yarn and i will immediately start working with a row of double crochets up to the end okay this is how i reattach my yarn then immediately go in and do double crochets and we are working with double crochets up to the end and i'll meet you at the end of the second row I am at the end and to begin a new row this is how my work looks to begin a new row you chain two one two turn your work and we are working a row of double crochets yarn over 
to work a row of double crochet please always remember to skip that first stitch go to the second stitch that's where you work a row of double crochets so that your work is straight and we are working double crochets all through and i'll meet you at the end of the row okay i'm done and this is how my work looks and we are going to do a row of double crochets until we have five rows once you have five rows then we'll start doing the reduction as per now i'm changing my yarn to this shade of brown and then i will continue with rows of double crochets till i have five rows then i will come in and show you how we do the reduction so that we get the halter shape okay I am done and now we want to start doing the reduction and to do the reduction once you've chained to go in the first stitch go and do a single crochet then the second stitch do a single crochet you'll have three loops then yarn over all the three and once you're done you'll continue with the pattern which is double crochets and we are doing reductions in the beginning of the row and the end of the row i will show you again how we do reductions at the end of the row I'm at the end of the row and we are doing another reduction so just go in with your hook without turning over do a single crochet don't complete the single crochet go inside the next stitch you'll have three loops and then yarn over all the three okay chain two turn your work and immediately we are doing another decrease okay so do another decrease here just after chaining two and we've done another decrease yarn over all the three and then you continue with the pattern so please remember we are doing decreases in the beginning and in the end of the row okay and we are going to work like that doing decreases in the beginning of the row and the end of the row until your work reaches your neck level we are reducing in each row in the beginning and the end until your work reaches your neck area okay okay i went ahead and worked up to the neck level all this loose yarn we will uh, join them in and your work should form this triangle thing going on and now i'm at my neck level remember we are reducing at the end and the beginning of the row so i'm just done with my last reduction here and we want to make the neckline after you're done with the reduction my neckline i chained 20 chains but you can chain 25 so chain 20 to 25 to those with 
large sizes you can chain 30 to 35 okay so for size small to medium chain 20 to 25 and i am done with my chains once you're done you'll cut off your yarn and make sure you fasten your work okay it should be tight enough so that it doesn't run so fasten your work and then you'll go to the other side and also do 20 to 25 chains okay so i went ahead and chained 20 chains separately and i want to um join it at this edge here so we're just joining the 20 chains that i've done separately on this other side okay and we are joining using a single crochet just like this once you have that in check we are going to work a row of half double crochet coming this way we'll immediately start working a row of sorry a row of double crochets not half double crochets we are working with a row of double crochets all the way until we get to the other side where we had chained 20 chains okay and i'll meet you once you're done okay i am done so once you get to the end you will cut off your yarn and make sure you fasten off foil and then we'll come to this side this uh, other side where we chained 20 and reattach your yarn and you're going to also do a row of double crochets and we're doing a row of double crochets all through i'll meet you at the end of the row at the end of the row and now we are doing row two chain two turn your work and we're just going in with the row of double crochets all through always remember to skip the first stitch while working with double crochet and start working from the second stitch and we're just working um a row of double crochet and we will do three rows of double crochets okay 
so right now we are working from beginning to end when you get to the end you'll chain two from this side all the way to the other side up to here and when you get here you chain two turn your mark and then go back and i did three rows i am done and as i said i did three rows and now we want to do ribbing all round our garment that is start from the neckline going all the way around up to the other side and for the ribbing we're just doing single crochets all round from this side of the neckline all the way down to the garment and it will come up up to the other side of the neckline and we are working with single crochets in each row and i'll meet you once you're done okay we're just doing single crochets in each row and we are working all round Okay, I'm done with ribbing on this side all the way around. And now we are on this other side. And remember, we have to put buttonholes on one side of our garment. So um, just go in and make the first single crochet. And then you will chain four. We are now making buttonholes. Skip this stitch. Skip one stitch. Go to the next one. Skip this. Go to the next one and do a single crochet okay that is after we have chained four we will skip two stitches and on the third stitch that's where we are making a double crochet okay i'm just trying to find the exact place where to make the perfect double crochet So as I said, uh, remember at the corners we are doing two um, single crochets so as the corners to be well aligned. And then you chain four, skip two stitches. On the third stitch, do a double crochet like that. That's how we make the, the button hole. Sorry, we did a single crochet. That's how we make a buttonhole. And then we'll continue with a row of single crochets. If you want to put two buttonholes, you'll go ahead and put the next one here. Where we started doing our decreases. So you'll chain four again. And join on the third stitch with a single crochet. That's how you make button holes then you just go ahead and continue with the pattern which is a row of single crochets all the way to the other side of the neck area And remember when you get to the neck area here, you'll also make one button hole. Okay. Yeah. So I'm done. And now we want to reinforce on our button hole. Reattach your yarn at the end here. And we just want to reinforce the button hole area only. And to reinforce the button hole, button 
hole area we're just going inside the button hole space using um four single crochets so we'll do four single crochets inside the button hole space then also do the same to the other top button hole and also the button hole at the neck area okay and once you're done you will go ahead and sew in the buttons at the adjacent places and then we will be done with our work So go ahead and unstitch in the buttons and this is how my top turned out to be so so beautiful and I love it so much. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up and remember to comment. See you in the next one. Goodbye.